So first off, uh, apologies for my really dodgy uploading this past week. It's just been my first like genuine break in a while where I've had nothing pressing to do, but also things like enjoyable that I can do. So I've been kind of maximizing that and uh, during that time videos weren't much my priority, but they should be back into swing now or at least soon. And secondly, happy Halloween. It's finally here. It's my favorite day of the year. Well, one of my favorite, definitely up there. Favorite holiday at that. I love Halloween so much. And I wanted to do a bit of a Halloween centric video today just to get sort of into the swing of the spirit, basically. And Halloween's always been my favorite. I just love the ambience and the versatility of the holiday. You know, Christmas is a good thing, but there's only really one dedication to it, which is the whole Catholic slash Santory shit. Whereas Halloween, there's a thousand avenues of potential the week has. You have candy, you have horror movies, you have scaring the shit out of people. You have scaring the shit out of kids specifically. You have the mischievous aspect, you have the going out aspect, you have the late night aspect. I fucking love Halloween so much. So, I digress. The topic today, a spooky one. You know, all the classic sort of trope monsters of Halloween are scary, you know. Your vampires can be scary, your zombies can be scary, your ghosts can be scary, and on and on and on. But isn't it more scary the monsters that are man? The, the psychopaths, the serial killers, um, the stalkers, those who have the entire potential to be absolutely anyone and can and do completely conjoin in our society unnoticed for such long periods and are going about day-to-day -day lives just like every other human is except they're living this double life of heinous crime basically and that is just so interesting and so terrifying to me i will always be a true crime buff so that's kind of where this comes from and you know you have the really iconic cases the classic cases the jack the rippers you know the, oh, what's his name, H.H. H. Holmes, the Ted Bundys, you have, you know, these famous cases where these were people who bypassed as normal for such a long times and then were doing horrible, inhumane things in the shadows, basically. And it could be anyone, it could be my neighbour, it could be your neighbour, it could be a family member. And there's no way of knowing. And some of the scariest ones are those in these positions of trust. Think Harold Shipman, who was, if you don't know, he was a GP, a general practitioner, basically uh, a doctor, who uh, killed, I think it's estimated to be around 250 of his patients just because he could. Or um, the taxi cab rapist, you know, you don't expect... Uh, whoever's picking you up to you, they're doing a job you expect them to take you to one place to another and to have such a uh, vile thing happen in the back of that cab is horrible and it's these people who as I said are human themselves barely and commit to living in society but also are in these positions of trust these jobs and these social stances where we think that not only are they as bog standard square people as they can be they're also authority almost they're also like verified certified trustworthy and for them to turn around and murder or rape or maim or assault or whatever it is they may do is fucking terrifying and i know it might sound like i'm making light of this i'm really not i just wanted a kind of spooky topic the color of halloween and also uh, to promote a message that literally anyone you trust could uh, one day snap and completely murder you or could be planning to murder you right now 
not to incite paranoia in anyone, but stay safe. There's some dodge characters out there, and there's dodge intentions everywhere, so watch out, stay safe, don't get maimed and murdered, and if you do, it wasn't my fault, I warned you. Happy Halloween. Have a good one. Uh, check your candy for razor blades, and uh, don't eat ease. Well, eat ease, actually. Yeah, do eat ease.